back to a toast to life on a special uh episode dropping today will be friday so welcome back to the most organic most authentic podcast out here right now um let's get started so what you're gonna see right now is a special clip from we were at a competition from one of our boys jose's here i think it's uspa um in chino hills and we randomly got to meet one of one of the elite in in powerlifting. He dropped the gem about life and what he was going through and what he lives by. So we're gonna take drop that video right now. So stay tuned, don't go nowhere, but wait before you go somewhere, before we get to the next episode, subscribe, follow on Instagram, follow on TikTok, subscribe on YouTube, put your notifications on, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. So let's get to the video. Whatever you want, bro, but Okay. Best piece of advice for life. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, yeah, I already won, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on. this wasn't. Hey, when I it came up to you, yeah, this uh -huh. bro, you're like, yo, yo, that's Isaac Wisher. Okay, okay, <laughs> devise a plan, conquer. Okay, we're gonna go up. We're gonna bring up my like. We're gonna bring up my performance yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll come over with the camera. <laughs> okay, let me think. Let me think. Okay, let me think. Give me. Just hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Perfect. Okay. Uh. What do you live by? What do you live by? Okay. So a quote I live by, actually, <laughs> I have a tattooed on my arm. It's called Memento Mori. Uh, and I actually first originated, I heard it from a song. It's, a, it's an artist by Architects. Um, and I actually just really liked the song, and I wanted to know what the, the actual saying was. And the saying is, always be mindful of death. Um, and so I got it tattooed because I wanted to always be mindful. And so I think that a lot of people kind of don't think about that because it, it scares them and I try not to think about it because it scares me but you can not think about it and still be mindful of it because it pushes you to do things that you wouldn't naturally do um, and so like if I find myself in a bad situation or if something bad happened to me I always think of the bright side and how it can always 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 be worse um, I actually just crashed my car like a week and a half ago and I felt really down for myself um, and it just has taken time for me to refine and especially with lifting um, I served for four years, so like, if I had a bad table and I treated them as best as I could, I gave them my all, I was happy, I joked, and then they can leave me nothing, and it happened. Yeah. And so like, I was devastated for, like, a, for a long time when I served, um, but it worked on social skills and it taught me that like, you can give your all and you can receive nothing in return. And so with that and with lifting, it's just taught me that over and over, um, you literally just have to be happy with yourself and then just do the best you can and then you get what you, you, get what you deserve in return and that it can always be worse, and that no matter what you think you're going through is like terrible and awful, it's like, it seems like every time that happens to me and I have something going through it, somebody comes to me and they're like, hey man, like I had somebody pass away in my family, or, or hey, like I, I just talked to a friend last week and he was like, oh, like uh, it, it's just, it's sad because my girlfriend, like her mom got deported because her dad like killed herself. And then I'm thinking like, dang, I'm upset because I lost a couple dollars because I crashed my car. And it's like, and at that point, it's, it can always be worse. And so I just try to, just try to be mindful that like we're here, and and life is the most precious thing that we have. So I try to try to take that with a grain of salt. All right. So that was a cool little minute, minute and a half uh, video. And if you're watching the video, you need to go search him up right now. And if you're listening to Isaac Whistler, he is. A national champion, he is a coach, he's a trainer, he is a social media influencer in that industry of powerlifting. So we're filming this, yo, again, we're filming this randomly. Um, I think it is almost about to be 7 p.m. at night. Uh, reason being is I feel like there's a lot of moments where we're just trying to go and go and go. And for the longest, like we've never taken time to just sit back, throw a random video out there. Um, Throwing some gems, again, um, if you don't know me, I mean, we've been at this for now a year, barely making noise, and we're moving. First uh, line of merch is coming out, well, for sure, so you got to drop, send a DM with your order, you know, not too much, but we're all going to reinvest it back into the podcast, man, and back into the movement. That's the biggest thing, is being surrounded by people that support you, believe in you, believe in the dream, just like you, and have their own dreams and aspirations, and you all feed off that same energy. So, again, you got to look around your circle. Are you, having, are you having uncomfortable conversations? Are you making those conversations comfortable? Are you 
if you get mad at them, cool, like, yo, they told you something real. But at the end of the day, like, if they tell you something real, it's because they care. There's a lot of people, and again, look at your look at your click, look at your circle. There's a lot of people that say they wish wish you the best and hope for the best for you, but in reality, they really don't support you. So I would again, I had a conversation today. Again, these conversations that I have with people usually that I know or just randoms, like they just happen. I don't plan them. I don't have a, a set line, just like the podcast. They just flow and. We both came to the conclusion that we, in the friend circle that we came from and that we had, like obviously d- different ones, we had to cut certain people off. There's people super close into, to us that didn't have the right intentions. And one thing that we did bring up, and maybe you're going through this if you're going through a transition in your life, is are they supporting the transition? It's as simple as if you're drinking and you're going to stop drinking. If you're going to the gym and they're not at the gym. If it's to eat healthier, if it's to do a new job or change careers, whatever the case may be, you're transitioning. Are they supportive or are they telling you, no, don't do that. Let's go do something very negative that's going to hold you back from that position. It's a lot. Life is, life is, is tough, you know. If you don't know, if you don't follow me on my personal social media, uh, official Dusko for anybody uh, ready to click. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel on YouTube, TikTok, IG, Social Life Podcast on all platforms, do so right now. Take a break. All right, I hope you did. So if you don't know, I'm a father of two. I have my own house with uh, my girlfriend. You know, the one that started the podcast, by giving me this camera that I'm recording in right now, she's the one that did this. Again, this podcast industry, this social media industry was not in the books whatsoever. It was something that was, we had a planning, right? I, I was like, yo, I'm itching for this. Like, I'm having these meaningful conversations already. Like, I want to be somebody that's going to help change people's uh, mood, like whether I get you mad, sad, motivated, inspired, whatever the case is, I want to be that person that, yo, make some noise, make some change in this world. And I mean, we're back and forth between months. I bought a laptop when we moved out to our first apartment. Didn't do anything with it besides play around with it, think I was cool because I had a, a, a MacBook. Didn't do nothing. She got me the camera for Christmas uh, two years ago. Yeah, now two years ago, got me the camera for Christmas and started off there, you know, didn't really know about podcasting, didn't really know about social media, the microphones, the lenses, the lights, what we have now, yo, like trial and tribulation, like I think we're in, throwing a number out there, um, I think we're in like 2000 bucks, $2,000 invested completely, camera well, 3000 if you include a laptop. But, I mean, we went to YouTube University. We saw other people doing podcasts, like uh, other social media influencers. And all right, we looked at their setup, what they're posting, what they're talking about. We went on YouTube for hours and days. That took another couple weeks to really do it. And then coming up with the name, it was like, all right, we wrote it down a list. All right, we wrote it down. The next day, we're like, all right. This fits. Boom. Started started the YouTube. Without posting anything. We just started the pages. We started the YouTube. And um Yeah, that from there is just like, alright, let's let's do a video just like this. A year and a month ago, I did a video just like this. Nervous as heck, sweating like bullets. Did like two or three different takes and nothing written down. I just tried to remember what I was kind of saying. And it's like, y'all, all right. Whether I, I completely like it or not, I got to post it. I got to be out there. I got to make my first step. And I did. Made has some good effect, right? Every, once you do something new, everybody jumps in. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody says, yeah, yeah, go for it. But in reality, half of those people just want you to fail. And they're like, ah, he ain't doing nothing. Boom, had our first guest, my boy Paco. Paco Perez, yo, shout you out, my brother. 
thank you for being the first guest on this podcast, man. And uh, after that, I was like, you know what? We need more. Everybody's going to say, oh, it's only one time. Nope. Let's do another one. Another one, another one. On, to the, my point is, I love this. What we do every day, what we post, what we do every weekend with the team, um, going out to have meaningful conversations to the to the podcast, talking to them on the group chat, you know, shout out my group chat. Um, everybody in there is, is just amazing. Shout you guys out because... Oh, man, inspiring, you know, shout out my girlfriend, my two kids, my family, my parents, everybody, you know, endless on shout outs because there is a whole team behind everything. Um, but to the whole point is you got to believe in yourself, you know, forget if not trying to be mean or anything, but if you forget about everybody else, like who is it? It's just you and like right now it's just me in front of this camera. There's nobody around me. Literally no one's in the house. Literally, nobody. Yes, I'm talking to my people, but I decided to do this. reason why I'm deciding to do this is because, dude, I want to be vulnerable. I am vulnerable. I am very authentic. I'm very out there like, yo, this is me now. Am I the same dude that I was two, three years ago? No, not at all. If I didn't say dude that I was in high school, no. If I talk to the same dude I was in, in elementary, man, a young, scared, non-confident, Trying to fit in with just everybody. Fuck, what the, I'm just, I was trying to fit with just anybody. Junior high, I'm getting a little bit more confident, you know? And if I, if I would talk to my young self, I know I asked everybody else. If I would talk to my young self, it would literally be like, bro, be you. <sighs> Ain't nobody can be you better than you can be. Are you going to fail? Yeah, you're going to fail. Wow. Damn, I never done this. I never talked to a young self. Um, but yeah, you know, um ah, sh- <laughs> uh patience, you know, we're not gonna delete none of this, we're gonna put this out there. Um yeah, I wasn't like this. Now I walk with my head held high. My presence is known in the room with all respect to everybody in that room. Um, because I am me. You know, I'm talking to those people that are hearing this and watching this. You know, I appreciate you guys tuning in and listening in for the longest time that you guys have. If you're brand new, thank you for tuning in and listening in. You know, that this means the world to me. Um... But if you're listening, and if you're going through this, or you're feeling insecure, not confident, doubting yourself, doubting your passion, doubting your gift, maybe not loving yourself to the fullest, is it's going to be okay. The one thing you got to do is you got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting because the world is tough. Life is tough. It's going to knock you down like there's no tomorrow. And it might knock you down once you get up, but you got to keep fighting. This world is just luxurious. It's a gift. It's a blessing that if you don't take advantage of what you have in front of you, if you have an opportunity, you got, you woke up, you got up, you got to go and fight. You got to keep fighting. Even if the next morning you're just like, man, I'm so tired. Yo, get up. Do it. Beat yourself up. Make yourself get up. Go and fight the fight. I We said it today. I said it today. You know, uh, shout out my my right hand man, Dylan. Yo, bro, I love you. You know, I'm put this out there. But um, me and him, we were coaching three years ago. And we were practicing like, man, this hard season is 5.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Foggy. You can't see nothing. Kick the ball, boom. Nothing and on the group chat we're like, yo, like this is this is uh me and Dylan, blah blah blah. And he's like, Man, you just can't see nothing. Think about this. Right now the world is blurry. 
Your vision is blurry. Tomorrow is blurry. You can't see nothing. It's foggy. Nothing's unclear. It's just life. It's unclear. My dream and my passion is going to light the way for me. My motivation will get me through. Damn, that was good, huh? <laughs> but no, honestly, um, you got to keep fighting. Fight for your dream. It might seem crazy to other people, but in reality, yo, that dream, that vision is just meant for you and you only. Not, a, not everybody needs to believe in you. Not everybody needs to believe in that vision. You do. And I'm pointing at you in the camera right now. I'm pointing at you on the other side. You know, if you're driving, I hope two hands on the wheel, but I'm pointing at you too. And I'm telling you right now, it is you. You got to go to work. You got to get up. You got to go fight. You got to go do the things that others are not going to do for you. Yo, stop depending on everybody else to love you. Stop, stop depending on other people to take care of you. Like, yo, no one cares. Think about this. No one's going to come to save you. It's you. It is you. So, once you get through whatever you're getting through, if you're going through something, I hope everybody is good. You know, bringing it down back a notch. Um, practice what you preach. You will attract the people that who you are. Like you. Be positive. You'll attract positive people. And if you got to cut off people, how I said it before, it is what it is. It is. It's going to be a lot more people in life than you might cut off. And I'm only 26. And I feel like I've I learned a lot, but there's a lot to learn yet to this day. So with this lengthy, short slash uh, surprise episode, I hope you guys learn something from it. I hope you take something from me that you learned. Um, I appreciate the support again before you. Swipe up and get off of this page and get off the podcast. Drop a like. Hit that follow button. Hit um, the subscribe button. Sorry, lots of training thought. And if you're drinking coffee right now, if you're drinking water in the morning or whatever time you're listening to this, whatever you got, you know, a toast to all of you guys. And we'll see you on the next episode. new power lifter best advice for a new power lifter um honestly first thing is don't weight cut and second thing is just have fun find someone to guide you and have fun with it the first the first lift's always going to be the worst it's going to be like so nerve-wracking but once you get it out the way it's going to be so much it's going to be so much fun just um focus on your lifts don't weight cut trust me don't do not weight cut say less